was going to give it a try. I'd, I've always attempted, if you can't hear me, come, come forward. I'd always followed all the other round the record, world record holders. And um, it's been something I've been following for years. All the guys back into the 30s uh, who sort of done crazy mileage. The guy who broke the record in the 80s. And I turned 30, believe it or not. I know I'm 21, stop it. Um, but. I thought if I don't do it now, if I don't attempt to do it now, I'll, I'll never get that opportunity. So I decided to pack everything in, I quit my job, um, my girlfriend dumped me because of it. Um, <laughs> I left my flat, I sold everything. Um, I, although I do still have my motorbike back home, which is quite nice. Home. Although I'll probably I'll just be cycling. Today, I must tell you, I actually bought uh, a, a proper old school Indian bike. Uh, Amazing. So, uh, I'm going to take it back to London. I'm going to be the one sort of cycling around, and I got it from, from the, the guy's bike shop. They helped me source it together. So. February this year, 18th of February, was the, the kickoff day, um, and that meant if I cycled really quickly, I'd get back to London just in time for the Olympics. 24 Olympics in London. Uh, the town I live in now, which is amazing. So really looking forward to that. Um, so I've got a month to get back. So I can really pick up my game. Uh, I'm sure I'll get there in time, as long as I don't get uh, to be punctured. And I was just outside a town called Bald Knob, which is a ridiculous name for a town. But uh, it was five o'clock in the morning, and as I was cycling along, a, a truck going 80 kilometers an hour took me out completely. Um, I don't remember anything. I was in the hospital for three weeks. I had severe concussion, whiplash, and I actually now still have a, a compression fracture in my spine. So uh, that was a real downer because it completely, you know, wiped me out, put me out. Of and my helmet saved my life. I'm not going to lie. And I only care for people all along. I don't want to. I don't want to push it too much. I want to. Uh, I bought the same one. The one I've got there is, is the exact same model, and it was completely cracked on the top. And the back bit, which is about this fat normally, went down to about a millimetre thin, and it was completely compressed because I, I, my head hit the windscreen. Um, and one of the things goes up in the 40s that you, you, you know, your head, all the capillaries stop, you know, you can burst, and that's not good. So it did slow my pace down. I had to spend you know, a few hours in air conditioned. Um, uh, hotels just to cool down my, my core body temperature. Or these, these guys in the middle, you know, you go and you, you buy a bottle of water at 20 rupee and then I just pour it over my head and I was like, man, there's a tap there. <laughs> but the problem is all of the tap is 40 degrees as well. So I, I got plenty of looks the whole way. But um, yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely needed because you've got you've to keep yourself cool and hydrated. The great thing about cycling in India, especially for enduring stuff, is, is you, you can find food everywhere. And, and I haven't got sick. That, that deserves an applause, honestly. Yeah. I always get sick. So you guys have sorted something out of the water. Um, and because normally I'm really careful. Uh, you know, the last two times I've got hand gels, stick to vegetarian, no salad, no ice, all that stuff. <laughs> this time, I thought, well, I'm going to get sick anyway, so I might as well get sick. How did you manage all the passport and visas? And the Passports and visas, re really good question. Um, funny enough, I only needed three visas for the whole for the whole world. America, uh, which you do online, Australia you do online, and India, which takes like seven years. <laughs> <laughs> and I had two before. Like, it's, the problem was, it was a bit hard for me, because I have an Irish passport, they wanted to send my passport to Ireland just to get the visa. And I'm like, I don't live in Ireland, I've been in England for 11 years. I did one of those. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> like, throughout the thing, are you here, right? Is that yes or no? <laughs> it's about 10,000 calories you should try, but it, it never happens, it's impossible. I eat and drink my entire body weight every probably week, maybe week and a bit. Um, so, yeah, it's, I do listen to music, but right to do 300 k's a day, you're on the bike from 4 a.m. from 10 p.m. Uh, with probably all together two hours break in the middle. So that includes stopping at traffic lights, looking at your map, going to the toilet, eating food. On those big days, you want to have probably three, two or three sit-down meals, and the rest of the time you eat on the bike. 
So you strap energy bars to the handlebars and you have a little sack for nuts and keep things in your back pockets. You know, sometimes in America I'd buy sort of three foot-long subways and put one in. <laughs>